welcome to Missouri. We're out here in the boat this evening. We just got here today and I don't know what day it is, but it's way, way too hot to be deer hunting. Oops, that was loud. It was like 92 degrees today for a high. And we're doing some scouting tonight. One thing new that we got with Ted's boat this year is he got that trolling motor on there and that's making for a pretty stealthy approach into these back coves and stuff. We kind of ran out of water right here, otherwise we would have kept going up in there. But as you can tell, these lake bottoms are all greened up right now. We had a ton of rain last spring, which raised the whole lake level way up. And then it dropped down over the summer and all this different diverse green vegetation has grown up out here on these mud flats and there's deer and turkeys all over them. There's also a lot of acorns dropping right now. So these first couple days, we're just gonna scout. I mean, we may go hunting in the morning a little bit because that's the coolest time of the day when it's this hot. For now, we're just gonna do some scouting. Tonight, we're gonna slip up the edge of this lake bottom here, another couple hundred yards, where we can see out across a bunch of this stuff. We're just gonna do some glassing until it gets dark and then slide back out here. That trolling motor's gonna be nice though. This is pretty quick, actually. Yeah. Let's get to her. You better grab a bow. I was gonna say, if she wants to I'd say. Yeah. You. Grab your bow. The temperatures are supposed to cool off next week. I think it's supposed to be really hot again tomorrow. And it's supposed to rain a whole bunch this weekend. We've decided to just spend these first couple of days scouting. That's the nice thing with that boat though. We can get into a bunch of these areas undetected and not leave a ton of scent or disturb them too bad. Look at this right here. This big bed. These are all cuckle burrs. When it's hot in the afternoons, this is the first shady spot for them to come in bed and they can bed down here in this damp soil stand up and go walk over there and get them a drink if it's super hot. Up here in these coves, there's not a lot of boat traffic. How do, how do you feel about your first out-of-state tag? I'm pretty excited. It's pretty nice, too. I get two tags and two turkey tags, so... Well, I can tell you one thing. If we don't find the deer, there's plenty of turkeys around here. We've already seen that. But we're trying to stay focused on deer for you guys right now. Look at this, look at this trail, dude. Leading through these cuckleberries right here. This is, see, this is the type of stuff I want to hunt. Because I think we can observe a lot of this from a long distance. Can you just feel how much cooler it is right here? This is where they're going to be laying when it's hot like this. A lot of tracks right there. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at on X and right up above that there's a really tall like CRP grass field right behind where that buck is coming from there. You can tell right here behind us this whole bottom is just full of those waist high green cuckleburrs. And they're coming out here and they're feeding on all the different types of green natural browse down here in this bottom. There may also be an oak tree over there that's dropping acorns in the middle. That's a shooter though, eh? It's legal, it's a shooter. Been a pretty good first night here in Missouri so far. We're trying to find a way to slide out of here without spooking these deer, but we got two does right across from us right now, about 100 yards away. Hopefully we can get out of here without bookering everything. We saw a few bucks, one decent buck, and uh, 
bunch of toes and pawns in here tonight. I think these coves are going to be the ticket with these cuckoo bears and stuff like this. We can get to them, we can observe them, we can see how deer are moving around in them and then make a plan to go in there and get set up with the correct wind. I didn't think we'd seen near this many deer tonight as obvious as it was, but pretty good first night. Now we just got to try to find a way to get out of here. Got this big Max Air fan. It's a little bit of an upgrade versus our $15 oscillating fan that we bought at Walmart last year, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's still in my room. It is? It's taking up space. It's still in your room? <laughs> Some of you are probably wondering why we're just not sleeping in the air conditioned camper, which is a valid question, but we're partial to my tent. We're just being stubborn. Yeah, we're just being stubborn. But it's like 80 out still, so we're going to kick this freaking Everglades fan boat motor on here. <laughs> it's not getting much air over here. I'm getting plenty over here. You going to be alright? You going to be able to sleep? Yep. I'll be fine. What time you want to get up? 3.30? Yeah. Night everybody. See you in the morning. All right, guys, it's our second day here in Missouri, and I'm out scouting this morning. Dylan and Ted are about five miles from me up the lake where Ted got his buck last fall. But there are acorns everywhere in here. There's a big red oak right here behind me. I don't know if y'all can see that. And there are just acorns all over the ground. I glassed another one of these little uh, green lake bottoms this morning full of cuckle burrs and stuff and saw a doe and two fawns but that was it however it's pretty obvious where they're at right now i've been hearing acorns dropping all morning and in fact i found one white oak along the edge that had been dropping and there was deer poop and tracks just everywhere underneath that tree so probably going to be something we focus on these next few days Well, this right here is exactly what we were looking for. Real thick beddings out behind here. There's a gap coming through. And then we've got this licking branch with a fresh scrape right below it. And there's a tree right there at 17 yards. That's a nice split tree. Doesn't have a lot of cover, but if they come out of here, they're gonna be looking through all this brush and everything. So I'd probably be able to draw while their heads around this or if they're dinking around at the scrape and not paying attention, could draw right there and it'd be a nice broadside shot coming out at 17 yards. Behind us, there's a ton of fresh acorns. I mean, just loaded. This is looking like the best thing that we've found so far. Thinking with the right wind or something, we might be back here tonight or within the next couple nights, depending on what orb found. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot of deer coming out of here, but yeah, probably buck or two. Yeah. shoot a doe or not but that might be a game time decision i didn't have any camo and short sleeve shirts so we're gonna see if camo matters in a tree stand tonight or not shout out to exodus That's a wrap on day one and a half, Ted says. 
here in Missouri because we didn't really hunt last night. We just scouted last night and then the boys hunted twice today. Yep. And I just spent the day scouting. No luck today. Not really surprised. It was super hot the last two days. It's supposed to rain like three inches this weekend starting later tonight. So I'm not real sure what we're going to do for the next couple days. During the heat, we've got in some good scouting, got in a couple hunts, and we have a good plan moving into next week. Temperature's supposed to drop on Monday, a good 10 degrees back down to average. Should be in the 70s next week, so weather's gonna be good here, and we're planning on hunting here for another at least six to eight days. Right now, what we're seeing is there's a lot of acorns on the ground, they seem to be favoring the white oaks if they're dropping on that particular ridge or location wherever we're at. And they like these green lake bottoms. A lot of the cuckle burrs and stuff like that has grown up. It's waist high. It's perfect height for bedding cover. And they're down there feeding on it. We have somewhat of a pattern that is starting to come together. And this, this is a process, guys. It's like you just build off of it every single day and then eventually you wind up with a chance at a buck. That's the goal anyway. But every day you're trying to learn a little bit more. We've been setting ourselves up during these hot days for success on the good weather days that we're planning to have next week. At least that's what it looks like right now. We're gonna get some shut eye and we might try to hunt tomorrow if uh, it's not pouring rain. Things are looking good here in Missouri. Right, Dylan? Yep, real good. You're not tired, are you? Not tired at all. Just watching the new video. If you haven't seen the mountain lion stock, check it out. Nebraska mountain lion stock. We're gonna finish capturing this footage and then uh, go out to our tent for the evening and batten down the hatches. Yeah, we might get some flooding tonight. Might get a little flood in action.